Hola mis amores, que tal la vida? How are you guys? Welcome to my channel Fake Polyglots and today we are here in Kazakhstan again and I'm Algajan, Fake Polyglot and I'm gonna test Duolingo I'm Russian, I'm native Russian speaker and I'm gonna test like the Russian in Duolingo it's going to be very interesting how can Russian speaker like pass examine on Duolingo or yeah so you got the idea let's get started okay guys now we're going to start test Duolingo I'm Russian native speaker and I'm gonna take a test in Russian language so as an American person okay let's get let's get started already know some Russian take it as to jump ahead it is loading mm -hmm. is this America or Canada where is my phone где мой телефон моя чашка здесь моя чашка здесь my cap is here Okay. Мои брат и сестра в школе. Мои брат и сестра в школе. Мои... Yeah, so I've done this test test in I think in seven or ten minutes. It took me ten minutes to pass this test, but the first error I made by my stupidness, I just forgot. Yeah, okay. And uh, what are we going to see? What we will see? Challenge update. Continue. On this trick, okay. Can you make the, 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 the I'm not sure. Let, let's go. Okay, for him. You place insert in unit three. Great job! You unlock three units in the Russian course. Yes, guys. No thanks. Look at this. Um, Unit 3, even if I am Russian speaker, they haven't opened all of the options, so it doesn't matter how good you know Russian language, even if, if, even if, if, even if you have C2 level, you will not open all the course, because even I as a Russian speaker I could only open units till the unit 3 and I still have unit 4 and full unit of 3 so that is was my experiment I want to say my general view about Duolingo initially it was not so positive because I thought it's useless app and uh, I just didn't uh, research it more deeply but then, uh, like recently, I found out that it is can be useful, and uh, it can be uh, useful and effective if you use it in proper way. For example, if you want to learn the language only by Duolingo, so maybe you can achieve only A2 level kinda. But if you're going to uh, use Duolingo as additional tool to your language learning process, to your like resources, then it can be quite useful in, in that sense. Because in Duolingo, I analyzed and I've noticed that there are 100 
over the 100 lessons and uh, there, uh, there are accumulation of uh, the most useful uh, topics uh, in each language and that's why uh, and in these one over the 100 lessons you can get some good basic knowledge on each language i think you can accumulate a strong a2 level vocabulary by these 100 lessons and uh, just uh, it is very useful to memorize them by duolingo because it's it's kind of because it's kind of more uh, like because Duolingo is kind of game and by game it is a lot of fun and you can memorize it more easier than just uh, trying to hardly memorizing from list of vocabulary. No, by Duolingo you can uh, learn words more easier and with a lot of fun and also it is good for repeating sentences and uh, also to master your grammar and uh, master some basic uh, phrases and uh, words so that's why duolingo is can be uh, useful and effective as an additional tool to your language learning so this i wanted to say